What is going on guys, my name is Brent and over the next couple of tutorials I'm going to show you how to set up a real-time chatting app using Socket.io and AngularJS. Check this out. Uh, real-time chat and hello world. And then of course let's go ahead and duplicate this tab, add a new user, uh, Frank. Frank has entered the channel and can now talk. Talk. If you want to find out how to do this, stick with me. First thing we're going to do is set up socket IO on our server side. So we're going to do npm install socket.io, save that to our JSON file and let that install. Next up, we're going to import our HTTP module into Node.js. So var HTTP equals require um, HTTP. And then we're going to use the same server as our express server. So server um, is our app. Okay. And then we're going to create a uh, socket IO. So var IO equals require socket.io. And we're going to give that our HTTP server. Finally, down here at the bottom, instead of having our app uh, listen, we're going to have our HTTP uh, server listening, which uh, socket IO is connected to. So now we can set up some server-sided logic for when a client connects to the server with socket IO. So io.on, and then we give it the event name, which is going to be connection. And then on a connection, we get access to a uh, socket. And you can think of a socket as a direct connection between the server and the client. Uh, so inside here, we can put in our logic. So for now, all we're gonna do is say uh, console.log a user has connected and save that. Okay, so now let's get it set up for our client side. If you go to socket.io and go to the download section here, we can go ahead and copy this line right here, which is a CD into the socket.io JavaScript file. And all we have to do is go to our index.ejs page and go ahead and paste it in our script section here. I've just selected an area it's called socket.io and put it under. Um, and next, we're going to download the JavaScript file to connect socket.io with our AngularJS application. So this is Angular Socket IO is written by BT Ford, which is the author, and he's an, a Google employee. What it does is it wraps uh, your sockets in a way that Angular fies them, basically. So when data gets sent, it's automatically updated in your view or your HTML file, so people can actually see the change in data really uh, quick. It's called the digest cycle. If you're interested, you can read up more about that Angular's digest cycle. But what we're gonna need is socket.js. And what I've already done is I've already downloaded it and put it in my li uh, libs folder, um, Angular and then socket.js. And what I'm going to do in my index.ejs page is create a new script and include that here. So it's going to be libs angular socket io uh, and then socket.js and save that. Now, in order to use uh, Angular Socket IO, we have to include it as a dependency in our Angular JS application. So, in our app.js file, I want you to go right under ng animate and, and do uh, bt forward.socket io, and that will include that as a dependency. So to use it, we're going to create a new service. I've created uh, in my services folder a, a socket factory.js, okay? So we're going to go inside this full uh, file here and do my app dot factory. And then we're gonna name our service socket. And it's going to have a dependency of a socket factory, which is exposed by our uh, BT Ford Angular IO. Um, and then it's going to have a function that takes in socket factory and then down here what we're going to return is socket oh, if I can spell right socket factory as the function and then we can save that that's all we need. So I've set up a new controller called chat controller and also a partial page called uh, chat.html. Those two connect to each other. If you don't know how to do that, check my previous tutorials out. Chat controller and chat.html. So inside chat controller, we're going to set up a myapp.controller. And the name of the controller is going to be chat controller. It's going to have a few dependencies. The first one, of course, is scope. 
Um, so scope here, and then the next one is going to be our socket that we've created um, using our service. And then we'll give the function that takes in scope and socket. And here we're gonna do our chat controller logic. So there's two things we want to add to this controller, at least for now. The first is when they navigate to the page, we want to connect to our server. So socket.connect um, will connect us to our socket.io server. Next is when they navigate away from the partial page, we want to disconnect from the server. So in order to do that, we're going to do scope.on, and the event name is location if I can spell location, change start, and then it's going to take a function that gets the event, and then, but we don't really care about the event, all we want to do is socket.disconnect and set that to true, and go ahead and save that. So I want to add an event for demonstration purposes to show when a client disconnects. So in our server.js uh, file here, we're going to add a socket, which is the connection between the client and the server, dot on, um, and the event is disconnect. It's going to have a function that doesn't take any, anything, and then we're going to do console.log a user has disconnected. And go ahead and save that. So I'm trying to figure out a good way to demo this, but let's go to our project snippets here and go to our chat room. Watch the terminal window of our server when I click chat room. You'll see now a user has connected. Um, if we navigate away from the chat room, like by going to the about page, you'll see a user has disconnected. So now you can see that we have a socket uh, connecting our client and our server and there can be traffic uh, between the two they can talk to each other basically so a, a user has connected we navigate away a user has disconnected okay well that was a lot of little things we had to wire together in order to get to work but now we have the basics down we have it all set up so in the next video we can actually set our chat room up this tutorial we talked about how to get the client to talk to the server um, and how to let the uh, server listen to the client for events like the connection event and the dis disconnect event uh, so in the next tutorial we'll talk about getting that chat room set up I hope you learned something in this video. There was a lot of little things that we had to go through, but uh, it's definitely going to be worth your time. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you're feeling generous, uh, go ahead and check out my Patreon. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.